What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how I like to rig my crippled anchovies when trolling for salmon. This technique also works for other species of fish. I've done really well using this setup here, catching stripers. So today I'm using 50 pound mono pea line for the line. I like using this line because it's it's a little bit heavier, doesn't seem to affect the action of the anchovy once it's spinning. These sickle hooks, uh, these are 4 aught, and these are actually barbed, but I grinded them down with a Dremel so they're completely barbless now. You can see the hooks here. Uh, this is what I prefer. It's actually a little bit uh, thinner gauge wire. And I think it works well when I use it simply because it's not as thick, it doesn't affect the spin of the anchovy and uh, you know, catches fish. I've never had a hook, uh, this four out here break uh, or bend or anything like that. Uh, this is what I prefer and this is what I use. Here's the crippled anchovy here. Uh, you can see it's been used. It's caught a lot of fish for me this year. Uh, chrome has seemed to be working really well uh, I've also caught fish using the watermelon crippled anchovy heads, um, but this one works real good for me. So I'm going to sh show you how I rig this up here. I'm going to be tying double snail knots with two hooks. So the first one here, simply like to just run the line right through the eye. and. Just go put the line so it goes through the hook just to the bottom of the shank and wrap it about three to four times. One, two, three, four. And I put the tag end of the line back through the eye of the hook just so it's about an inch or two sticking out. And I'm just gonna grab the line that you originally wrapped and wrap it another three to four times, two, three, four. Now what you're gonna do here, simply pull the line through. I'm gonna have to wet it a little bit so it doesn't kink up the line. So pull the line through. And snug it tight. There's one hook on there. Now here in California, the regulation state for salmon, you can use two barbless hooks, but they must be no more than five inches apart from the top of the shank to the bottom of the second hook. So these hooks here, I know they're only about an inch and a half, but what I like to do is when I rig up the second hook here, I like to make it so the bottom of the top, top hook simply runs about even with the bottom hook. So let's go ahead and do the same snell knot and simply run the line back through the eye. Go all the way down. And now you can see how I have it set up here. So I prefer running, you'll see some guys, they'll tie it so the hooks are like this. I like to go opposites and I like to flip it over the back side. And like I said, I just make sure that the bottom hook is just about even with the eye there. So I'm gonna hold it in this position. With this setup here, it seems like I catch more fish. Um, I don't lose very many having the points on the opposite sides. Um, so this is how I do it and you know, like I said, I've caught quite a few fish this year with this setup so I'm just gonna hold this hook in this position and we're gonna tie the same double snailed knot one two three four and then I'm gonna run the line back through the eye while holding the this hook in place so it doesn't turn like I said just go about an inch there and then use that same line and wrap it another three to four times. One, two, three, four. 
All right, just wet the line a little bit here. I'm gonna simply pull the line through and then tighten it up. Now you can see here, both hooks are in place and tied and they're running. The points are actually the opposite direction. And that's how I like to set it up there. Okay, so like I said, this is 50 pound mono and I've never had it snap off on me on a fish. After over time, you know, it, it will get nicks and everything and I'll just retie the leader. So that's how I do that in there. And then this side will cut this tag end off too as well. Okay. Now for the anchovy, crippled chovy head. Just go ahead and slide the line through this back hole of the crippled chovy. And uh, they got the pin that goes through it. So just put it, run it right through the eye. And then just feed the line back through the hole and out that way. There you can see crippled chovy. Now for the end, I always use a high bear, uh, ball bearing barrel swivel. This prevents line twist occurring in the line. This is gonna really save you uh, time and money as well. This barrel is gonna prevent the line twist. And on this end, I just tie a Palomar knot Go back right through it. Let's get this through there. Just snug it up. And I'll do the same thing. We'll just cut the tag end off. Okay. And then the same thing on this hook, we'll just cut that extra line off so it doesn't get in the way when a fish does get hooked. So there you have it. This is how I rig my crippled anchovies. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm actually going to bait one up and show you that as well. Here's the anchovies. Uh, these are five and a quarter inch. I prefer using the smaller ones. Uh, it seems like the spin is a little bit faster and the salmon like that. So what I'll do is I'll take the anchovy, put it in the crippled chovy head. And I've got this piece of wire. I don't know how many times I've tried using a plastic pen and over time it bends and you end up poking a bunch of holes in the anchovy head. So I just got this piece of wire here. I kind of made it, twisted it up. I simply run it through the hole. It goes right through. And you go right back there. So now you have a hole that's lined up. Now you can take the pin and the pin's gonna slide right through. That's how I rig my crippled anchovies. Now, some people prefer using rubber bands to keep the hook uh, right on the bait. I, I usually don't use the rubber bands, but it just seems like it, I don't know, they can get in the way, but it also does keep the hooks tied up to the bait. So if you do like using rubber bands, here's one right here, rubber band. And I'll just take it from the back side go right in the middle of the hooks. So now you've got your crippled anchovy with your hooks tied up like so. And that's how I like to do it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please subscribe to the other fishing channel. I'll be back out in the water soon. But thank you again for watching and uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button like the video and if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them down below in the comments all right we'll see you on the water soon